Alright, so what I'm going to be doing here is uh, making an airsoft target. And so I made it 12 inches by 12 inches, foot by a foot. Yeah, okay. So, grab a nice circular, circular, circular tool. Make sure you got it outlined. And then one pixel looks you want nice and thin. Go to the very edge. So, oops, I forgot to change my, to my circle. Okay, so very edge. Don't rush the gun, don't rush. color so I have to flatten it so now it's just one big ugly image and we go to our little bucket I like to do a lighter one on the inside and a darker one. Really bad mustard, you know? <laughs> and then we do a red, and the red will be our main spot that we want to hit, right? So you want to put that red. I swear the eye goes to red more often. And that, well, we'll have this. And that is your normal archery target. I like different colors. I like rainbow. I like red and green. Green and black. But I think. I'm gonna try some Halloween color. So some black. I think even this would just be cool straight up. Just like that. But the, whoa. I feel like you're being hypnotized. Stare at it too long. <clears throat> A nice orangey. That's a nice Halloween orange. Okay, so yeah, it kind of looks like tiger, tiger like, but I like to think it's like Halloween ish. And then other colors with black, to try purple, may look a little weird. I like it together. Somebody who's seeing red sort of thing would put red. That looks cool. I don't know, I like black with any sort of bright, vibrant color. Because it makes it stand out. Oops. Need to do that. Then pull it. Um, so, let's try... Lots of people are a fan of blue. This blue is a little lighter.
try green just because that's lime green. Then if we do like rainbow, that's fucking sweet. <laughs> Turn it so it's Could be another idea is to create your own gradient like this. Always very cool. It's a little off kilter as, as usual. You know, make it all freaking wonky, man. Normalize. Make it brown. Yeah. Anyways, so you know that concludes this uh, this target. <laughs>